Hey guys, back again. Just want to show you a pair of boots that I have. Um, these are a Laurentine Chief Snowshoe Moccasin. They have them in a bunch of different finishes. These ones are uh, a regular leather finish for the whole bottom section. And then it goes 13 inches up with a suede. Uh, you can get them in different colors. Uh, you can get them in different heights. There's uh, one that goes uh, almost up to your knee. And it's all this uh, regular finish of leather, which is a little bit more water repellent. Um, apparently the suede is more uh, abrasion resistance, resistant, uh, so I'm, I'm told. Um, they're quite warm, so it's a 100% sheepskin. This is all sheepskin with the wool on the inside. This is sheepskin with the wool on the inside. And it actually uh, cradles your foot too. It goes right underneath the footbed with the sheepskin. The only part on the inside that doesn't have wool is the tongue. But you can see here, um, it's kind of overlapped with the, each side of the sheepskin anyways. Um, normally I wear like a size 10 and a half to a size 11 in most boots. Um, that would have fit me perfect in these boots too. Uh, they don't go with half sizes though. They just have, uh, you know, 10, 11, 12, whatever. Uh, so I ended up getting a size 12 so that I had lots of room for insulation. So uh, when it's really, really cold out, I'll put a couple different sizes of uh, wool socks on that are fairly thick. It adds a lot of bulk in there and you can go into some extreme temperatures with it. But just with the sheepskin alone and a really thin pair of cotton socks or a really thin pair of merino socks, you can get down to zero, no problem whatsoever and they're super comfortable. Um, these boots are like half the weight of regular boots and uh, you put them on and they're so comfortable and light that you almost forget that you have them on. Um, another thing about them is they're super flexible so you can feel the ground underneath you really well. Uh, it feels completely different than you know a work boot style with the really hard underneath or the really hard sole. <clears throat> So it's got the brass eyelets through there. Um, I've had these for a few years now, and uh, the only spot that uh, a little bit of stitching is undone is a little bit on the sole right here. Um, I'm gonna sew that back up and it won't be an issue. Now the sole is a crepe sole. Uh, not exactly sure what it's made out of, but it's just like a thin rubber. You can kind of see the thickness right there. Um, goes about that far and then in the back it's a lot further that it goes up um, with these boots if you do step into a puddle um, you will get your foot wet because it will seep through some of these uh, stitches but uh, you just uh, heavily oil them or wax them and uh, I haven't had any issues especially because most of the time you're using them in uh, winter conditions where all the water is frozen but if you do break through some ice and step into something, you will get your foot wet. So that's the one downfall about them. Um, another thing is these stitches right here, that's where a lot of the water can get in if you do step into a puddle. Um, lots of models, they actually have a piece of leather that is uh, uh, sewn over top of that. So it kind of cradles it along each side. So any water that does get dropped onto it or if it's raining or whatnot, it can just run off and not into the seam. But I just heavily wax those seams and I haven't really had an issue other than if I actually step into a, a big puddle. But keep in mind, the more you wax leather, the less it breathes. Um, I haven't put any finish on this suede part. Haven't had to. These boots are made in Canada and, uh, well, this brand anyways. And they're about $250 Canadian. A Laurentine Chief doesn't have their own website, but you can buy them off of uh, you can buy them off of Moccasins Canada website, and there's other companies that carry them too. I'll take it off here in a minute and do a close up so you guys can see the inside of it and some construction or how and how it's constructed, so you can see how it's constructed. <laughs> Thanks again for watching my video.
one more time. Thanks again for watching my fucking <laughs> video. Thanks again for watching my video.